Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome, welcome. I'm Anna. Thank you so much for coming in. And my channel name is Only In My Dreams. So, oh, I just shifted y'all. Shifty shift. Shift it back. Yeah, baby. There we go. Okay, so I'm in my craft room. Uh, kiddos are in school. And I just wanted to come here and I wanted to show you something that I made but i'm not quite done with and i'm going to start something with you i'm not saying i'm going to finish it because i'm not but i'm going to start so first things first um this is a felt pack from the dollar tree i pulled out the brown the brown so i cut this in half i literally bent it and cut it in half i wanted to make a carpet for my dollhouse miniatures now you can use these for carpeting just as is, or you can add fabric on top to get, you know, a different type of look. It's up to you on, you know, what you're doing. Um, I have this from the Dollar Tree right here. This really soft, you know, sweaterish. Looks like when I saw it, it looked like a shag rug to me. And I was like, ooh, I can make my own shag rug, shaggy looking rug. Ooh, so what I did was I just used regular, you know, tacky glue and I would do like a certain section like this. And then I was lining up this fabric and literally laying it across the glue and cutting it. But I would do extra. I'm going to show you what I did. Um, and then I'd, I'd have a cut and then I just do line by line by line. Um, yeah, so it does take a little while, not too long. It goes by fairly quickly, honestly. And this is the one that I made. I have to, I had to let it dry overnight. I have to trim this up here on the sides, but this is like my little shag rug that I made for a dollhouse room to have like a little shaggy rug. I know I did it. Yay. So that's what she looks like. And I'm going to cut the ends off right here and just sleep just a little bit, just a little bit. And that's going to be my little shag rug, baby. Shagorific. So there you go. Okay. Then the next thing I wanted to do. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. I have this journal thing that I got from Shein. And I don't like the outside of it. I don't think I wrote anything in it yet. Let me make sure. I can't let you know all my secrets. No, I cannot. Now, this is a very interesting journal, and I do have it upside down. I'm going to show it to you because I have not written in it. But do you see, it already has this antique look to it. It's like just ready to go to add some cool stuff to it, right? You see how pretty that is? Now, I hauled this. Ugh, oh, you know. Ugh. I want to say several, 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 several months ago, I think. But do you see how cool look? You see how cool this, this journal is? So in the inside, she's ready to go. Okay. See? It's very cool looking. Very cool looking. Okay. You got the idea. Oh, wait a minute. There's something really... Oh, there's so many things in here. See that? There's one that was like really big. It caught my attention. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Wow. Okay. Very cool journal. Just don't like the inside. It's going to be October and it is time to get spooky. So this is from the Dollar Tree Crafter Square fabric 18 by 21. And this is the one. This is the one that uh, has the spiders on it. I don't want to cut my fabric. I just want to cut this off. Okay, let me see if I can actually tear this off without... I don't want to cut into my fabric. All right. Oh, wow. This is really sticky. I bought some... Um, I went to Aldi's today, y'all. And I walked out with two bags and spent 85 bucks. Two bags worth of groceries, $85. Normally, Aldi's... I can walk out of Aldi's... <sighs> I'm going to have to cut it like this. Um... Wow. 
For 85 bucks, normally I could walk out of Aldi's and have a couple of bags, not just two. I walked out with two. So it was a little disheartening to say the least. Uh, so this is a fabric that I will be using. This is my fabric of choice. The Dollar Tree, Joann's. I have lots of other fabrics, but I just want to choose this one because, you know, I have it. And I want to use it. Okay. I had to pick pick at this a little bit more, a little bit later. Ooh, this stuff is sticky, y'all. It is not trying to come off my fingers. Okay. So as you can see, it has a really cool spider web spider web theme here with the spiders see that so i'm going to use this for the outside of the book and um i think it's probably going to look pretty cool yeah see that's going to look pretty cool and then i'm probably going to add some other uh effects to it i do have this from the dollar tree as well this is a lace tabletop runner this black lace that I thought about possibly using in the book itself. You see, see the lace? You can see my hand. Then they also had this that I bought, the creepy cloth. The creepy cloth. And um, this has more of a, a shredded, you know, look to it. So I figured I could use all of that inside the book to give it a really cool look. So how am I going to do this? I don't know, but I'm going to figure it out with you. <laughs> gonna do this together just for a little while just for a little bit just a little bit okay because we definitely want to have some fabric that'll go in the inside and i'll cover it up in the center you know some to go down there okay i'm just getting an idea of how i want to cut this Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut this over here. So is anybody doing any kind of projects right now for Halloween, junk journals, cards, anything at all? Let me put my little shaggy thing over here. Anything at all? Anyone? I can't hear you guys. I hope you're writing it down below. Um, I do have some ideas of some other things but guys i'm going to be completely and totally transparent with you i have a lot going on behind the scenes here in my household um a lot of stuff is going on i'm just not talking about it and uh it's been a little hard for me dealing with some of the stuff that's going on here in my house um just with life and i've kind of if you haven't noticed i just i've kind of pulled away a little bit i was doing more videos i was doing like my perfumes i was doing more dollhouse miniatures you know i was doing more and i had to pull away because of the stuff that's going on and I and my I kind of fell deeper into my depression and I had to go pick up my depression pills because this girl was not doing too well no she was not I was not okay I want to make sure I have enough fabric to do it while it's in an open state okay yeah I do all right I do um I'm gonna have to start gluing hopefully this fabric will work well with the glue with the gluey glue let me see if this is the one I've been using yeah it is I'm just gonna use the fabric tack you guys and I'm just going to start going crazy here. All right. So with everything that's going on here in my life. And I'm, I'm sure you guys have seen that. Wow. She's not posting as much or, you know, her content has changed or her energy level is not up. I haven't been doing my cosmetics. I normally try to put my face on. 
Um, you know, I just been having a lot that, you know, with the depression, it's just, you know, it kind of puts the brakes on everything. You know, when you're depressed, it affects all parts of your life. I'll tell you that much. It's not one part that doesn't get affected by it. Not one. But I'm hoping and praying that things get better. And, um, you know, I know I'm talking in riddles, but it's, you know, it's a, it's a private family matter. And uh, I don't want to put, put all my information out there, you guys. I just, you know, we got to have some kind of, there's got to be some kind of line you can't cross. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to use my finger just to spread this out. Okay. And uh, it's important that you do have some limitations and lines. Okay, so I am spreading this across. And this is one of the reasons why I haven't been doing my dollhouse miniatures. I just can't wrap my head around it. That's why I did that carpet and that brought me a lot of joy. It really and truly did bring me a lot of joy. Okay, I think I am good. All right. I'm going to add some over here to the side too, a little bit. And then I'll work more on the side once I get this top on. So let's see how she's going to act. We're going to do it like this. There we go. I like the way that looks. And I'm gonna just smooth it all out. There's a couple little places there that I could feel a little. There we go. Wherever I feel like a little, a little twisty twist, I'll make sure I fix that. So it's working good so far with the tacky glue it is working great okay so now I'm gonna concentrate a little bit more over here on the edge then I'm gonna open it up to make sure that the fabric can actually spread out and open up properly because uh, that's really important let's put this on the edge as you can tell, I'm just using my finger. I'm just using my finger. Yes, I am. Okay, and then I'm going to move my fabric and try to do this side. See if we could just knock at least this out in this one video. I know I'm doing a lot of talking, but um, has everybody lined up everything for Christmas yet for your children? I know my husband and I do not gift one another. And there's been a lot of things going on in the news that kind of like, oof, you know, especially um, now with um, England's bank, they're doing like quantitative easing. And I'm telling you, as soon as their stuff goes haywire over there, we're going to go haywire, meaning our, our economy is going to take a major dump as soon as there's take a dump. So right now, things are not looking very good. And between the inflation with prices um food prices utilities because our water has gone up so so has our electricity everything has gone up it just makes it harder to do the things that you enjoy doing or you know it makes you think twice about what you're you know spending your money on and thinking about the future and we just dropped a lot of money because we bought this house yeah we just we just dropped a lot of money because we bought this home and um now i'm gonna just turn it over Ooh. Let's 
So, yeah, we just did a huge investment on our down payment for this place. And um, that was not a small amount at all, to say the least. I'm feeling something right there. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to open it up. Let me take some of this off my finger here. Uh, so, you know, everybody, I think everybody's feeling the crunch financially, honestly. I think everybody's feeling the crunch right now in one form or another. Okay. Let's open her up. Make sure everything's going to open up. Okay. Everything's opening up nicely. Okay. Now we just got to make some decisions here. All right. So I'm going to cut right here. Everybody's going to do this a little bit differently. You know, I'm going to do everything differently compared to other people. So it's okay, y'all. It's okay. Because it will be okay. Uh, uh. Just dance till you let the record play. Okay. So I'm going to be right back. Okay, I just wanted to cut a little bit without keeping you guys just hanging. So I'm just going to put some glue here. And you can do this with any book that you have that you're done reading and you want to make it look really cool. I just picked out this one because I like the inside of the pages. They're amazing. But I hated the outside. I just did not like it. It just didn't go with the whole cool look, you know? Okay, so now I'm going to push this over. And I did cut the edges. And look at that. That's probably that Dollar Tree sticker still stuck on there. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Why are you, why are you in my life making things difficult? Being sticky. Okay, so I'll play around with that later. I might even be able just to just cover it. Okay, so don't worry about this edge being all crooked and stuff. Don't worry about that because, okay, it's closing up nicely because it's going to get covered. All right, no worries. No worries, my friends. Okay, so now I'm thinking about I'm going to cut this part right here. I'm going to cut this because I don't want it to be too bulky. Uh, everybody has a different way of doing things. You know? Everybody has a different way of doing things. I do things my way. You do things your way. Now, what I want to do with this, actually, is I want to do it like that. And I want to edge it out. Okay. Did you see how I did that? I just twisted. I just bent that in. Or it's going to look like that. And this, I didn't like that look. I'm just going to almost do it like a, like a book or a crease. She's like a, like a book or a creek girl. Make up your mind. What are you talking about? I don't even know what I'm talking about. It's okay. Now I'm going to put some of this here on my fabric instead this time around. Because this is going to be a little tricky. Especially right here. Okay. Now I'll spread it out. Okay. All right. Then we're going to go like that. There we go. Because you're under pressure. Okay. So that's looking wonderful. That's looking amazing. Oh my gosh. I hope everybody's doing one with me. I hope you guys stopped what you're doing. Went into your craft room and started pulling out your stuff. I hope you're crafting right along with me. And finishing up a project. I hope you're doing it. I'm just touching up that little corner. Okay. So let's flip the book over. And let's do this edge. Let's do this edge, okay? All right, I'm going to bend the corner again because I want it to have a nice little, like that. 
see that corner? I bent the corner again. If not, it would have been straight. It would have been like that. I'm just bending it in. Making sure it looks nice and tight. And I'm going to glue it. Oh, the joys of tacky glue. I love the tacky. The tacky is my friend. I you know I'm being silly today, guys. It's okay. I, I need to be silly. It's going to help me get through, you know, what, what I'm going through right now. Let me be silly. Let me enjoy myself. Okay, so I'm making sure I put some there on edge too because it's important that it connects right there on the edge and it doesn't get too bulky or what have you. And then I'm making sure it's all up on this end too. There we go. All right, now I'm going to flip her over. We're going to do the flippy and I'm going to make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, nice and tight. And then don't worry about this. That's going to get covered. No worries, my friend. That will get covered. What am I going to cover it with? I don't know yet. I have to figure that out. You know me. I just kind of go by the seat of my pants. And I might actually put a little treatment first and then do a cover thing for it. You'll see what I mean because I have an idea. Okay. So we're going to let that hang out there for a minute. Because that looks pretty good. Okay. Looks very nice. So far, so good. Okay. Here we go. Make sure everything's nice and flat. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. I want to put this in between just in case it gets a little sticky or something. I don't want it to get on my page. Okay. There we go. Same thing. I'm going to cut here. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to cut, cut. I'm going to cut it right here to the, to this little piece right here, right there of the book, right at the crease. Then right here, I'm going to cut it right here. And then same thing on that end. Okay. Cut, cut. And then one right here. And you got to remember, this is your book. If there's any little imperfections or whatever, it's okay. It's your book. It's okay. All right, so I'm going to do this because we got to get this on here. And my glue bottle is like, why is it so hard to use? So like I'm really like, I need to work out. I need to go to the gym. My goodness. Okay, with your finger, da, 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 do the spread spread. Everybody do the spread spread. All right, I did the spread. Now I'm going to pull her over. And we are going to make sure there's no wrinkles. Beautiful, because you are beautiful. And it's closing up wonderfully. Beautiful. Okay. Now I'm going to do the cut right here. Remember, this is the cut right here. I'm going to make the cut cut right here. You see me making the cut cut right here? I'm going to make the cut right there. Took off that edge. And I'm going to take this little edgy edge off right here. Right up to the little part right there. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. Because you are beautiful. Then we're going to, again, do the glue on that end. Y'all see me do it already. Are you ready, ready? Are you ready? Okay, and I'm going to bend that in too. So, i got to bend that corner in to make it look nice and pretty. Nice and pretty. We want it to look nice and pretty. Again, we're going to use a finger. Going to spread it out. Going to make sure the whole edge is taken care of. Then I'm going to add some more glue to this little edge because I'm going to bend this edge in like so because I want it to look nice and I need more glue. All right. There we go. Then we're going to bring her on in. 
We're going to bring her on in. Just like that. There you go. Alright. Don't worry about the squirrely dupes. No worries. All that's going to get taken care of. Alright, now we're going to flip her over. We're going to do the other side. We're going to do the other side. How many of y'all still here with me? Let me know. Who's here with me? Are you with me? Okay. Woo. You guys, you just... If I could tell you guys what I'm going through, you guys would be like, Girl, just keep me in your prayers. I know I've been looking at, not to be completely and totally off the subject, but I was just watching, you know, one of my prepper channel things. And this, I'm going to bend in. Give her a nice little look here. There we go. I want to do a little bit better than that. There we go. There we go. Like that. And put some more glue right there. I know I'm getting really messy with this glue. Alright. Now I'm just going to push it on in. Push it on in and add some more glue right here on the outside. Make sure all that's glued in tight. Then what I'm thinking about doing, I'm going to cut this little edge off here in a second. Um, I'm thinking about using some of that creepy cloth. First I thought about the lace, but I was like, eh, it's Halloween. I'm going to do a creepy cloth look. Let me, well... I think this is dried up pretty good. Let me use this one here so it doesn't go onto my pages. So I want to just cut this, this little edge. Heck, you might want to keep that little edge. I don't know. Some people like to leave little things hanging off their books. You might just want to keep it. There, I just took my little edge off, and I'm going to take this edge off now. Okay. I'm going to take off the edge, honey. There we go. Okay, so my book is covered. Bing, bang, boom. Super easy. It looks really cool. I'm going to add some details to it. Um, I'm thinking about doing a creepy cloth in the inside. Where's the creepy cloth? Where'd you guys put it? I asked you to hold it for me. Again, it's from Dollar Tree. Creepy cloth? Seriously, creepy cloth. That's what it's really called. Creepy cloth. I'm not playing. Now... Let's see if this cloth scares you. Because it's sure is scaring me. Okay, so this is kind of on the thin side. I don't know how well this is going to work for me. But I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Alright, so this is very... Do you see that? It's very... Um, how do you say... It's kind of hard to work with. It's kind of hard. So this is what I was thinking about doing. Okay. Let me see if I can cut it. I was thinking about putting that. Okay. Let's see. Okay. I just cut it. I just cut, cut it off. So I was thinking about using that right here for this part. And just pretend like this is a cool piece of paper. Just, I'm not going to use this. I'm not. Okay. So don't freak out. Don't be like, ew, girl, what you doing? Just don't freak out. Because then you would see this hanging out from the book. Do you see what I'm saying? You see how you can see the creepy paper stuff hanging out? I thought that that might be cool. And even if I added the lace, maybe. I don't know. I thought about the lace, too. I don't know. I don't know if I'm feeling it. Are you guys feeling it? It's like I'm feeling it, but I'm not feeling it. I am, but I'm not. I don't know. Ugh. Okay, so I'm going to have to think about this one for a little bit. So I'll be back. Uh, I think I've tortured you guys enough for today. So I shared with you my rug. I covered my book. I'm thinking about my creepy cloth versus my lace. Maybe I could do a lace and creepy cloth combo. Ah. What? I heard one of y'all say it. 
I'm just not listening. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Okay. Trying to be... Trying to be quick about this. Okay, there we go. So this is idolatry lace. Okay, let me see. So if I do a combo of the creepy cloth, the lace, obviously I would cut it a little bit more. Because I don't know if I'd want it that big. But technically speaking, I could have it that big. I don't know. I think I probably want it to hang out a little bit more that way. But have the creepy cloth too. The creepy cloth. The dilemma. So tell me what y'all think. Wait a minute. I'm going to try to set it up. Just give me a second. I know y'all like, come on, girl. Get yourself together. What's going on? Okay. So creepy cloth slash. I can get more lace in there to go all the way in, though. You know what I'm saying? I Because I just cut a short piece. I can cut a larger piece out. I don't know. You tell me. Tell me what your thoughts are, okay? And I'm going to get back to this. I'm going to give it some more thought in a little bit of time. I am planning on using some of my Tim Holtz. Do I have it right here? Some of my Tim Holtz creepy people that I have. Where are my creepy people? Oh, man. I can't find my creepy people. I think they're over here. And put my creepy people in here and everything. So, hope you guys enjoyed this little visit. I hope you had fun. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.